hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment and subscribe feel free to tell us what you want on the comment section and stay tuned on today's episode on Judah akbar stay tuned salim says to anakali that i am going to kidnap bella anakali says are you mad if they kill you then what will i do i mean i won't be able to forgive myself you are in this problem because of me. Salim says, no, I am in this matter because of love. You took huge risk in love and now it's time to do something for love. And there is nothing like danger in love. And Akali says, if anything happens to you, then I won't be able to bear it. She cries. Salim comes closer to her and says, why? I'm just a common Mughal soldier and soon I'm going to be tagged as a betrayer. Then why does it matter if I die? And Akali puts hand on his mouth and looks into his eyes. They share eye look. She says, because I won't be able to bear it, she moves away from him and says, I don't know what's happening, but if anything happens to you, then I... She says, even if you get saved from tribe, then Jala won't leave you. Salim says, I know that's why I came to tell you that this might be our last meeting. I want to tell you something important, and if I don't tell you then, it will be huge guilt for me. She asks him to go on. Salim says, I want to tell you that I am. They saw some horses. And Akali says, I think there are some soldiers in this area. She asks Salim to go from here. It's dangerous for you. We will meet after some time. Salim says, what if I won't be able to meet you again? And Akali says, you did. You said that you have to tell me something important. And you will not die with guilt of telling me that. You will definitely come to complete this incomplete meeting. I am sure nothing will happen to you. Salim smiles and starts leaving. He turns and looks at her. And Akali thinks, I don't know you who you are. If this is our last meeting, even then I won't be able to forget this meeting ever. Salim thinks that tomorrow I will be at war with, this, with the world, but I will return from it for you only. And Akali thinks that I don't feel this is our last meeting. Salim thinks you'll be the last person I want to see before dying. And Akali thinks that our story will go very far and will become sorry for others. Salim says bye. And Akali says, please, say that we'll meet again. I'll wait for you, Kutub. Salim nods and leave. And Akali prays to God to protect Salim. He is going to protect love of someone else. Bagwan says to Jalal that the place of marriage is changed. I got a news from tribe king. It will happen in Mandia. Jalal says, okay. Jalal is sitting in his room with groom dress in front of him. Joda comes in and sees him. She says, Shagun is ready and everyone is ready for, to, to go for marriage. She sits beside him and says, Shagun is ready. Jalal says, I know. Joda says, I am worrying. That's when Salim will get to know about it. He will come to oppose you. Jalal says, I know, but I promise I won't let anything happen to your son. I will fulfill my duty as father and as king too. I will fulfill the promise of Bella of marrying Bella too. If I wanted, I would have finished that tribe. But not every problem solution is raising sword. Sometimes people have to bow their head to walk with high head later. I will handle Salim. This nakah will happen and Salim won't be informed about it. Judah says, I know it's all difficult for you. I pray to Lord to give you strength. Jalal says, you are with me. That's my strength. I want this matter to end soon. I don't want Salim to get involved in all this. He's going to be king. I don't want him to waste time in stupid things like this. Judah says, I think you are right. This is the solution. She leaves. Jalal along with his family comes to venue for marriage. Tribe King welcomes them. Hamida says, we have come to do ritual with, with to be bride. Bella comes there. Hamida gives her shagun. Joda helps Hamida. Joda says to Bella that I didn't see you before, but I knew this suit would look good on you. And see how beautiful you are looking. Bella greets them. Joda says to Bella that you must be happy with this marriage. Bella's mother answers that yes, she is. Bella is in tension. Joda notices it. Joda says... To Queen, that I have to talk to Bella. Actually, I have to tell her rules and regulations of palace before marriage. She takes Bella from there. Joda asks Bella that you said you are happy with this marriage, then why 
this sadness on your face. What's the matter? Tell me. Why are you so sad? Bella starts crying and says, Mariam Zamani. She falls in Judah's feet and said, Only you can save me. I don't want to marry Jalal. Judah says, Then why did you say yes when Jalal asked you? Bella says, Because I was forced. Flashback shows how Bella said to her mother that she will not marry Jalal and will marry for her and only. Her father comes in and says, We will decide whom you will marry. You have no right to say no to Jalal. If you say no to Jalal, then we will kill Farhan. Bella says, no, don't do this. I will marry anyone, but don't do anything to Farhan. King says, now, you said the right thing. We are thinking about your future only. You become queen of India, and our position will be raised too. Flashback ends. Bella says to Judah, save me. I don't want to marry. Please save me, else I will die. Judah consoles her and thinks. Judah tells Jalal everything. Jalal says, what? When Adam wanted to marry a girl, I issued a statement that nobody can be forced for marriage. And now that king forced his daughter. Here I am following their rules and... And he made fun of my rules. He played with me. Judah asks, what are you going to do? Jalal laughs and says that a king tried to make me, make me lose. But he forgot that ultimate king is me. I had one condition, that is, I will marry Bella. Only if she agrees to marriage. And that king accepted that condition. Here I am sticking to my word, but he broke my rules. So now I am not tied to my promise. He lied to me. Tried to cheat me. Now he will be punished. Judah says, now, this marriage will not happen. Jalal says, no, this marriage will happen. Man comes to Jalal and says, Salim is nowhere to be seen. Bagwan says that we have prepared this to stop him without hurting him. Jalal says, but he is my son. He will find a way to stop this marriage. And this marriage has to happen at any cost. Salim can take a wrong step, so we have to find him and stop him. Other side, Salim wears war suits and gets ready for fight. Kutub comes here and says, please stop. There is still time. Salim says to, to not stop him. I have decided. Kutub says, okay, I will come with my friend. Salim says, this is my war. I will fight alone. Thanks for being on my side. Kutub asks, how can I be help you? Salim says, give message to Farhan to meet me at Riverside. I will bring Bella there. This marriage will not happen. Other side, Jalal says this marriage will happen. But Nika will be of Farhan and Bella. All are stunned. Jalal says to his ministers that I will pretend in front of Bella's father that I am doing this Nika. But Nika will be done by Farhan. Betrayal will be answered by betrayal only. Once Nika is done, then I will see that king. First, we have to find Salim. He asks for him to go and find Farhan. He can do mistake in anger. I don't want him to destroy my plan. Till then, I will meet Farhan and tell him that he will do Nika. Haida listens to all this and says that if Farhan gets married to Bella, then Salim and Jalal will become one, and I won't let that happen. Jalal comes to Farhan. He stands and falls in Jalal's feet, saying, that I am at fault, not Salim. Give me punishment. Jalal says you will get punished. Punishment to love and your punishment is that you will marry Bella. Farhan is stunned. Jalal says I got to know that Bella is forced to marry me and you both love each other and I don't want to come in between your love. Please come to marriage venue. Farhan is in tears. Jalal wipes his tears and says you are going to be groomed so no tears but smile. Farhan says thanks Jalal. Jalal leaves. Haida comes there. He greets Farhan. Farhan says Jalal is going to get me married to Bella. Haida says, won't you hug me? Farhan hugs him. Haida grabs him. Farhan asks him to leave him. Haida says, if I leave you then, I will give chance. He pins his back against a dagger and injures him. Haida says, if you get married, then my dreams will be shattered. Salim and Jalal will become one. I won't let Jalal hug his son like he took rights from me to hug my father. Farhan falls on the ground. Hada says, you are dead, Farhan. My father would get peace by your death. Greet my father and tell him that I am taking revenge for his death. Soon I will send Jalal to my father too. He prays for Farhan that I hope you get love in next life. He closes his eyes. Jalal comes to the marriage venue. All greet him. Rahim says to Jalal that Salim can't be found. Jalal says, I don't want him to come here and create drama. Tribe King greets Jalal and asks, are you not ready for marriage? Jalal says, there is time for marriage. In the jungle, Salim thinks that I won't let this marriage happen. I'll find a way to bring Bella out of the venue. Tribe King says to Jalal that we want to do Devi Puja before marriage. Jalal agrees. Salim comes to venue of marriage and hides behind bushes. He stealthily tries to go inside. In the other side, Puja starts inside. Man asks Jalal to be alert. Ka Salim can come here at any time. Salim... 
is about to go inside, but Kutub comes there. Salim asks, why have you come here? I asked you to bring Fahan. Kutub tells him everything about Fahan being killed. Puja ends. Bella comes there for marriage. She sits for marriage. Tribe King asks Jalal to sit for marriage. Jalal thinks that where is Fahan? He says, wait for a while. Salim comes there and with Fahan's dead body on his shoulder. All are stunned to see him. He puts Fahan's body on the floor and angrily looks at Jalal. Bella is shocked and comes to see Fahan. She asks Fahan to get up to talk to her. She says, I accepted to marry Jalal so that you can leave, but you can't do this with me. You can't leave me. Tribe King asks Bella, what are you doing? Your would-be husband, Jalal, is here. Bella asks, who are you? He says, I am your father. She says, no, you are not. A father can go to any length for his child's happiness. But for your greed, you destroyed my life. If you were my father, then you wouldn't have forced me to marry Jalal. Jalal looks at Tribe King. You wouldn't have finished my love. This wouldn't have happened. Bella asks Jalal to return Fahan to life. Salim says this King Jalal can do anything. He can kill anyone for his ego, but can't give life to anyone. If he can give Fahan's life back, then I will beg him to. He sits, she sits on the ground and says, Oh, great king, please give my friend his life back. He came in your ego, so you finished him. I want him back. You killed him. Jalal says, I didn't kill him. S Salim says, Wow, what an answer. After killing my friend, you are denying it. One side. One side, you claim to love Judah. Another side, you killed a person for loving a girl. I have not seen love in you. I have seen only cruelty in you. You only know how to behave people. And even then, you want to prove that you have done, you have proved that you have love in you. Then make Bella and Fahan one. Jalal says, I wanted them to become one. Salim says, you can do anything. Fahan went against you, so you got him killed. The person who can attack his son for his ego can kill a common soldier easily. You killed him to get Bella. Jalal says, this is not the reason. Salim says, I only know that you killed my friend, and I will take revenge for that. He brings out his sword. Jalal is hot. Hello, guys. Thank you for watching today's episode on Joda Akbar. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. I'm stay tuned on the next episode.